Hi, and welcome to Digital Exam Info. My name is Andreas. I come from IT support, and I'll be talking about technical details about the digital exam here at AU. So this time around, it's a bit different during these corona times. Um, there's no ITX Flex in this overview. It's because you will not be uh, monitored this time around. So in many ways, it's a lot easier to take your exams from home. All you have to do is log in to exam.au.dk and get started, but I'll come into that in a minute. Let's start out with some IT advice and computer requirements. We recommend a computer you're comfortable with, and by this we simply mean a computer you know is, is updated recently, so it won't suddenly force a restart and start updating Windows while you're at the taking your exam. You'll need a program for creating PDF files, uh, but luckily Microsoft Word has this functionality inbuilt. So um, you simply choose Save As and choose uh, PDF as the format. For those of you who uh, need programs like Mable, for exam, or MathCat Prime, you need to log on to our VPN for, to get the license from our license server. And for this, you need two-step authentication activated. This is a recent feature or security measurement. Um, so if you haven't used VPN in a couple of weeks, you might have to set this up to get it working again. Also, we highly recommend that you download TeamViewer Quick Support through this website, au.dk slash it. If you scroll down a bit, you'll find the link. For anything else, uh, technical problems, further assistance, please call or write to our mail or telephone number 8715 As I mentioned, you need to set up two-step authentication to access the AU Access VPN. You will need a mobile phone or a smartphone to set it up. You visit this site, aka.ms slash MFA setup. Here you can either choose to set it up with a Microsoft Authenticator app from your app store, or choose to set it up with a code via SMS. For a full guide for this, please go to au.dk slash IT. For those of you uh, who've used the VPN before, you know this box, Cisco AnyConnect. You connect as you normally do to remote AUDK slash IAU access. Another pop-up box like this will pop up where you put in your AU ID at uni.au.dk and password. And the two-step authentication will then either be a pop-up on your smartphone through this Microsoft Authenticator app, or if you choose to set it up with an SMS code, you will get the code over SMS and another box will pop up where you put in the code. For a full guide for this, go to audk slash IT. Computer requirements are very minimum for this round of exams. Um, we recommend Windows 7 or Windows 10. Mac OS X 1010 Yosemite or later. You all have access to Office 365, so um, you're all set. These are only minimum requirements. 
you will also need an internet connection, goes without saying. And uh, in this regard, we recommend a cabled network connection for the best stability. Also for your oral exams later on, if you have to use Zoom, we highly recommend a cabled network connection. What is the digital exam? In my point of view, it's uh, a lot easier this time around because as I mentioned, you will not be monitor monitored during the exam. So you don't need to download a program called ITX Flex and start it up. There will be no pin codes uh, when you log in, as some of you uh, are used to. All you have to do is log in at exam.au.dk, where you log in as a student with WAIF or WIFE and put in your AU ID and password. And a few days earlier, your exam will be visible in here. Here's the name of the exam and the duration and if you're signed up or registered. This icon is only for exams with ITX Flex, so it will not be present at your exam this time around. If you press the name of the exam, you will come get to this uh, exam info page. And in here, there will be two uh, important telephone numbers that I recommend you write down. One number is for a digital exam hotline or IT support and the other number is for study service. So if you have any pro uh, problems during your exam, please contact these numbers. IT for technical, of course, and study service for anything else. While you're taking your exam, you will have to open a browser or keep post AUDK open uh, because study service will contact you uh, by email during your exam if they have anything to, to notice you about. Please remember that all other means of communication is forbidden as always during your exam. But please keep postau.dk open. If you need to digitize any handwritten appendices, um, you're now allowed to use your smartphone. So good news, just got easier to digitize uh, handwritten stuff. You're also allowed to use scanner internal camera in your PC or a tablet, anything goes. When it's time to upload, we recommend that you save as a PDF in, uh, in due time, maybe 10 minutes before a deadline. And you uh, log on to exam.au.dk again. You press the name of the exam, as we did before. You get to the exam info page. Also, when you start out your exam, this is where you will find the exam assignment. So after you log in, this is the first site you visit, and here your exam assignment will, will be. But for the upload part, you press next and get to this upload page. You choose your main document, which has to be in a PDF format, if you haven't heard anything else from your teacher. And only one document for the main document. If you have any appendices, um, they can be in any sort of file type. But again, you have 
to have an agreement with your teacher if you're allowed to upload appendices for your exam. Press, press next when you've browsed for your document. You can now press the document by pressing the name and uh, review and check if, the, if it's the correct one you've, you've uploaded. If not, press the X and find the correct one. We recommend that you call your exam or name your exam by exam name and date. So there's not, not any confusion during upload time. And press next to check out. When you're all ready and set to, uh, to hand in, please press the check out button. Also excuse the Danish if you need all this in English, you just press this. But check out another pop-up box, making sure you are ready to hand in. And when you press yes, you receive a receipt. This receipt will also uh, notify you if you've, if you've handed in too late or any, have made any other mistake, maybe the wrong uh, document format or anything else. This time around, you actually may upload again. Normally this is not allowed, but for these uh, exams, you're allowed to upload again if you have anything to correct. But otherwise, your exam assignment has been handed in. If you need to read more, and we highly recommend this, please visit students.au.dk. Find your study portal by searching it in the top left, top right corner. In the menu to your left, under your study portal, you will find uh, lots of tips and guides on anything regarding digital exam. If you need uh, other help for technical stuff, please visit audk slash IT, that's the short one, or contact us at IT support. Good luck out there. Bye bye.